Hey everybody, it's Murphy Gray Hunter, and it is Wednesday, December 28th. It's about 9.12 in the evening. Ooh, I look so red. I don't know why I'm so flushed out. Maybe it's this bright light hidden on my face. I don't know. But anyway, um, I just finished doing um, a live chat with my coven. So that was fun. And I made some other videos for the our coven as well. But um, I wanted to make this video because um, I had a few requests for more grandmother videos. So I really love, love, love the fact that y'all like my grandmother um, videos. Because you know guys, I was a little worried telling some of these stories because some of them seem a little crazy. And I just didn't want anybody, you know, saying something crazy to me about it, you know. Because you know it can happen. <laughs> So, I'm going to tell you another story. I have two stories. Let me see. Um, I'm going to tell you the story of... Um, well, I'm going to tell you the story about my, my grandmother, uh, about the mermaid. Okay. So, again, I don't know how old my grandmother was. I don't know a lot of the details, but... <clears throat> so you guys know from previous stories <coughs> from previous stories that my grandmother would help people uh, sell their souls at the crossroads well um, she I don't know who this man was um, I don't know how well she knew him or if he was a distant relative or, or what I'm not really really sure um because, you know, as the stories get told, they kind of get watered down a little bit. But from what I heard from my aunt, he was a close personal friend of the family. So, he came to my grandmother and he kind of inquired on um, how to, how do you go and, and, you know, ask for help? How do you, how do you call a demon to ask for help? And, um, you know, she told him, this is what you do. Um, just, you know, warn him about what was going to happen because when he comes to you, he's going to ask you for something and this is what happens, you know, and, um, you know, he's like, yeah, yes, I know. And he knew all the consequences and he didn't care that he said there was something he really wanted. He wouldn't tell my grandmother in the beginning what it was that he wanted, but he did say that there was something he really wanted so bad to the point he was willing to sell his soul for this. So, um... My grandmother took him and told him, this is where you do it, and blah, blah, blah. So he did it. <clears throat> then, um, <clears throat> some time had passed. Again, I don't know if it was weeks, if it was months. Some time had passed, and he came to my grandmother, and he said, hey, I want you to come over to my farm because I want you to see something. I got something. I got what I asked for. And so she's like, okay, well, I'll come. So she went, and you know, back in the day, how, um, this was in, um, I want to say it was in Seguin or, it wasn't Utopia. My mom is from Utopia, but I think it was in Seguin. It was either in Seguin or Yancey, one of those, those places. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> back in the old days, they had the farms and they had those big water towers, you know? Um, and so he had a water tower on his property. Some people use it for water. Some people use it for grain or whatever they store. Well, his was for water. And <clears throat> and I think he collected like rainwater and stuff for his crops and stuff. But anyway, long story short. He, um, sh my grandmother went up there to see, see what he had. He'd come up here and see what I have. Okay, guys. Please don't think I'm mental. But he had a mermaid in this water tank, okay? And my grandmother, she had my aunt with her and my aunt was a little girl at the time and she told me she remembers seeing this mermaid she goes it wasn't a mermaid like the little mermaid you know how the way they make the mermaids now that they're all like you know beautiful and things like that she says she was a woman and she had a big fish tail she was a natural mermaid but that she wasn't nice you know and um <clears throat> and that's all she remembers and so then, you know, they went back down and he, he told her that 
he he works out on ships like I don't know what exactly he did out on ships but he did something out on ships I don't know if he worked on lines or if with oil I have no idea because this would the census was in Texas it had to have been the Gulf of Mexico that he worked in again I don't know all the details so he worked on on the ship for months and months and months so sometimes nobody would ever hear from him you know because he was you know working and so um so yeah he had a mermaid he told my my grandma and my aunt that that's what he wanted that's what he asked for that he was out at sea working my hair tickles my back that's why i keep pulling it from front to back but it drives me crazy being in front of me so in a minute it's going to go up in a knot on top of my head where it's safe <laughs> not that y'all care but um he told my aunt i mean he told me yeah he told my aunt and my grandma that that's what he wanted he was out on the rigs working and when he was out there working he had saw her and um that ever since then he had been looking for her and i think he had seen her a couple of times or something i don't know i don't know again the details but he wanted to have her and so that's what he sold his soul for was his mermaid so then some time passed and my aunt said that the police had came and was asking my grandma if she had seen, um, you know, the man, I don't know his name, asked if she had seen him and, because it was a small town. Everybody kind of knew each other. So it was just, you know, normal for the police to come and ask, you know, hey, have you seen so, so whatever. And um, she said, no, she hadn't seen him, whatever. So she kind of waited for, you know, all of that to pass, you know, where so she could go out to his place. She went out to his place and she went to his house and she saw the big scorch mark on the on the floorboard on the on the floor. It was a big old scor scorch mark and the walls were all burnt and scratches again like the other one. And um, so then she ran up to the tower and the tower was empty. There was the mermaid was gone. And so when she came down, you know, she had told my aunt that you know that the devil had come to get him. You know, um, and so I love mermaids. I love the fact, I love mermaids. I love unicorns. I love the fact, and, and, and I love fairies. I love the thought of knowing that these things could be real. Um, we've all seen those things on TV where they show like the documentaries of mermaids are real or whatever. And some people say, oh, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. I, uh, you know, or they say, you know, unicorns never existed and fairies don't exist. Mm, I believe all that stuff exists. Um, just like I believe the devil is very real and demons are very real. Making deals with the devil and making deals with the demons are very real. Not only because my grandmother used to help people, you know, sell their souls, but also help um, free people of demons when demons would come after them. And because she, she spoke with them. But just because of all the study and research that I've done on demons. Um, so why wouldn't something like this exist, you know? Um, I wish, I really, really wish that um, I could speak to my grandmother. Because I would love to know all of this these stories. Um, it's nice that, that um, we have confirmation from... Um, my aunt who was young who said yes this really existed you know and I went to her because my mother had told me this story because my grandmother had told my mother and then you know um, we went and we asked my aunt who was a little girl at the time who was the one who went with her to see it and um, so just the fact that mermaids mermaids exist that they really exist I wish that she was around so I could ask all so so many questions and ask what did it look like you know like you know it's kind of like when people talk about they've seen aliens and they're like aliens do exist i was taken by an alien or i saw a ufo and we're always so curious about the things that we don't know things that we've never seen you know um we all want to know and so i'm just like oh my gosh i really 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 wish that this story is true that that my my um aunt is you know like really telling me that she saw a mermaid she said i really saw one she has no reason to lie this is not the this is not the aunt that i that has the book but this is one of her sisters and um 
So anyway, um, yeah, I just, and you know, and one of the reasons why I want to look at the book is because I wonder if she wrote these things down. If she wrote names down, it has to be names that she wrote down somewhere, names that she helped with. You know, mostly every witch writes down things that, you know, a log of people that we've helped, names of people that we've helped, um, names of people that we have helped with a, with a spell or with a reading or something. We all, I think we all keep a log somewhere or another. Um, and, um, you know, I, I was hoping that she would have names, you know, um, and something linked to it, you know, um, and there was another story I wanted to tell, but that, before I get to something else, isn't that an awesome story? I know some of y'all going to be like, oh my God, she is a mental. Again, I'm not saying I saw it. I'm saying this is the story that I heard that my grandmother saw a mermaid that this man sold a soul for. And, um, you know, again, this is another person who the soul was collected by another scorch mark on the ground, scratches and dried blood. The mermaid was gone, you know. Um, this is another one of those um, people who sold their soul. I mean, and, and if you do research or you do you research and do read stories or books about people who sold their soul to demons, this happens all the time. <clears throat> Without giving a lot of information out, right now, my, my I know someone who who invoked a demon because they want something. And the demon came, and now they can't get rid of the demon, and the demon is tormenting their life because the person was so desperate for something that he that he invoked a demon, even after. After this person asked me about this and I said, are you crazy? You don't ever do that. You don't ever do this because these are the things that could happen. And this is not a person who watches my videos. This is a person that I personally know. And um, so I really, 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 really feel so bad for this person that they did this because um, it is no joke. It is no joke. It is no fun. It is no games. I mean, they will come and they will give you what you want. But, and he did say that he did ask for something in return. I don't know all the details. We're still finding those details out. And, um, when I know all of the story, I will first make sure it's okay that I share the whole story. And then, without giving any names or anything like that. And I definitely will let you know, because this is something that's going on right now. Someone has invoked, invoked a demon, and in place of giving them something. And so, when I find out all the details, I will come and make a, a video talking about this whole thing but yeah this just happened just like this just happened this past few weeks that I was just told this and um and it's going on right now and so anyway but there was another story I wanted to share um and I can't remember it for the life of me I have to look to make sure that I haven't shared this story um but maybe I'll make it at a separate video so this won't be too long. So anyway, I hope you like the story about um, the mermaid. Um, I mean, what do y'all what do y'all feel on this? I mean, what what do y'all think? Um, <clears throat> do you think that mermaids really exist? I mean, what? I mean, you know how? What is that that thing on that cart? Not a cartoon. It's a Santa Claus movie, and he's like, you know. Um, the little boy says something, you know, just because you've never seen it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist when he was talking about something about Christmas, you know, um, and it's true. We have no idea what's out there, you know, and I think how wonderful it could be. Now I did hear we're reading and watching documentaries and reading books and stuff that sailors who have come across, um, mermaids in the past, they have a lot of sailors have come across mermaids in the past and they have all said that yes the mermaids are beautiful and they do um you know um they are very enchanting um and seductive but um they always lure them out to see to um i don't know like to to make their ship sink and they drown the people drown the men um but they always say that they're they start out very nice and they end up being very very mean so I have no idea. Um, 
I know that he did tell my grandmother that he didn't know what was wrong with her because she would scream all the time. She would scream all, all night, all day long. She was in there screaming. And, um, and I think it's because, um, she was trapped, you know, in this, this big, you know, um, thing, you know, like, a you know, that those big towers, you know, it, all she knew was the ocean and all of a sudden she's trapped, you know? So, like I said, I really hope that this story is true. I really hope that I can get more information on this, um, more information on this story because I think this is a wonderful story. So, okay, guys, again, as soon as I find out more about the other um, demon story that's going on right now, I will make sure that I can um, share that with y'all, and I will definitely get that to y'all. All right, guys, as always, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.